Today I'm gonna start with a new series on my channel and it's called Copycat. In this series we will recreate high-end designs using old vintage clothes. And for the first episode I chose this pretty iconic designer bag. It's from the Row, the fashion label of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. If you're from my generation you probably know Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, also known as the Olsen Twins. They used to be too cool for school and actually they still are. They went from being famous child actresses to now being pretty famous fashion designers. And they do a good job. I love their clothes. It's very wearable, it's very chic, it's very luxurious and very unaffordable. So that's why I thought it's fun to recreate one of their bags that has a bit of a status in the celebrity world. It's called the Escut bag and it's probably called the Escut bag because it's tied together like an Escut tie. And it does definitely not look like a typical designer bag. And that's what I like about it. It's quite avant-garde. The design is very special and kind of easy to replicate, I thought. I hope. And that's what I'm gonna do today using an old vintage jacket that I found in the thrift shop that was way too big for me. But because I like the fabric, I bought it because I knew I would do something with it. And that's what's gonna happen today. So please keep watching if you want to see how I saved myself almost a thousand bucks. So I will start with going to the back seam of the jacket and separating it and just take as large of a square fabric out of the jacket as I can. Because the jacket has a slit, the lining and the fabric itself do not align. So that's why I make sure both pieces of fabric have the same size, so that I can sew them well together later. I'm gonna measure the part where the fabric is not faced and I'm gonna iron some facing on top of there. What I'm doing here is going back to the jacket uh, because we had to cut the handles. So I'm cutting it out of the, basically the back seam, out of the back of the jacket. And I'm putting some facing on, on the handles as well to make them a little more robust. So I take a five centimeter width for the handle. I take some extra seam allowance and I do that times two, so I end up cutting about 11 or 12 centimeters of the fabric, trying to get the whole length of the back seam so that the handles will be long enough. I cut them in two pieces because I need two handles. And then I'm gonna close the handles on one side. I sew them together, uh, good side on the good side, and now I'm gonna turn them around with a pin. different versions of this bag so I decided to go for the bag with the knot in the middle so I'm gonna cut the handles into four and hope they're long enough
So I'll turn each one around again to close one of the sides of the handle. of the corners to make them nice and sharp. And I'll turn them back around again. attach each handle on one of the corners therefore I have to open the corner of the jacket here for a little bit but don't worry we'll close it again in a minute Voila. and of course the handles have to come out on the right side And then I'll close the lining together with the handles in one row. And of course I'll leave a little piece open to turn the back around because I'm sewing it inside out. So now I pinned the handles in on all the four corners. I pinned the lining. I'm gonna close it all with the machine. Get out the pins and turn it around. Sorry, I still have to practice a little bit what's the best setup to film and work. It's like the bird of the back. Voila! Now let's try out how it all comes together and hopefully we don't have to do anything again. So now that the handles are in, the lining is sewed in and ironed, I'm gonna make the knots just like a Aska tie. That's simply going around like that. Getting the handle through.
I still have the pocket on the outside of the bag slash jacket. So I'm just gonna close it by hand. And as a last step, I knotted the ends of the handles together so that it actually turns into a bag. So now we have all the knots and the last thing we have to do is sew in the button. And we still have the buttonhole on one side. So I can easily just sew the button on the inside, on the other side. That's it guys, that's the bag. A little cute little purse bag. But please beware that this bag is quite open from design and if you put your belongings in it, just make sure you keep the bag closed so that nobody will steal your stuff. Please let me know in the comments what do you think of it? Would you go over the streets with something like this? 